Gigabyte AORUS Z890 PROI Smotherboard PCB Leaks Out, Confirms Support for Intel Core Ultra Desktop CPUs Gigabyte AORUS Z890 PROI Smotherboard's PCB has leaked out which has spilled the bins on Intel's Core Ultra Desktop CPU family. The prominent hardware leaker on X at 9550 Pro has posted a pic on his account of an early PCB of a Gigabyte AORUS Z8890 motherboard. This particular section of the motherboard reveals crucial information about Intel's next-gen platform and confirms the naming convention for both the motherboard chipset and Intel's next-gen CPUs which were already kind of out there with recent reveals. Several motherboard makers showed off their Z890 motherboards but had to hide the chipset name and the CPU support since it fell under Intel's embargo but some boards exposed the socket naming and chipset naming convention. 718W 218W 440W decoding equals async Image source, HXL, at 9550 Pro the motherboard belongs to the AORUS lineup and its full name is Gigabyte Z890 AORUS Pro ICE as it appears near the DIMMs. It's also clear that this motherboard is made for the upcoming Intel Core Ultra processors, that is, Intel Airlake chips, and the naming convention is confirmed before the official reveal by Intel. Even though the socket is missing from the board, the socket name appears near one of its corners, clearly stating LGA1851. Moreover, the board will be using DDR5 memory exclusively, transitioning fully to the new memory standard, unlike the LGA1700 platform. According to a recent leak, Intel's 800 motherboard series will consist of five different chipsets with Z890 being the flagship one. We can also tell that this is an early PCB since the official motherboard was already shown by Gigabyte at Computex and features a white PCB as shown below. 270W 1092W 1440W decoding equals async. The Z890 will bring a total of 60 TO lanes, 26 from the CPU and 34 from the PCH. The total PCIe lanes will be 48 offering Gen 5.0 speed natively for both M.2 storage drives and graphics cards. That said, the Z890 is supposed to launch before any other chipset, while the remaining ones will follow in 2025.